Well, hey everybody, how y'all doing? Well, I was just telling you I was getting ready to cut out these snowmen. So, I've been cutting quite a few of them. There's one that's been carved right there. Just simple. Got a line, got a line, line, line. Chatter the hat a little bit. Kids will like them. There's a whole bunch of them. Here's a whole stack of them. Here's some more. I'm, here's some more that I've just drawled right here. So let's cut some of these out. It's not really hard. They don't have to be perfect. Each one's going to be a little different. That's all right. Yeah, I've got a stroke saw. I've, I've got everything. But shoot, I grew up on a band saw. out of the way here folks apologize there you go you can see just random little cut and I'll sand them a little bit not much like I said I'm, I'm looking really forward to this Off the bottom a little bit. Kids can paint these right here. I, I'm just cutting bunches of them. They can paint these, take them home to their mom, their grandma, their uncle, whoever they want to give them to. It doesn't matter. This is pine wood. Me and my wife, we cleaned all this wood down. Go. I'm going to do some of them with different color hats and everything. That way I can show the kids, you know, you can step it up. He just don't have to have a black hat. He can have a blue hat, green hat. There's different things that you can do to these. Yellow pine. Yes. Simple. I think I've got about fifteen of them already cut. I call this the Cadillac of bandsaws. I never had a nice bandsaw until I got older. And I bought this one. This is a Rikon. And I really like it. Easy to put blades on. Easy to set the tension up. I take it apart constantly. Grease all the bearings in it. And it only takes a few minutes that I can have it set back up. It's uh, well built. It's worth the money. Rikon makes a really nice tool. That's another one. Oh, 
what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna shorten this board, so I'll just kind of zip through here and cut them off. a lot with a bandsaw. I make bandsaw boxes. Pretty well if you set your mind to it, learn how to use the bandsaw, you'll do all the work for you. The bandsaw that I started using when I was a kid, I used to clean a lumber yard and it was an old bandsaw. Very dangerous. You always had to pull a stick to keep it lined up on the wheel. It was an old one. Open wheel bandsaw. The blade was always looking at you. I'll carve all the lines in it. I think my wife's going to do some of the carving too. Kind of help out. And like I said, it's just simple. Fun, fun art. I never get tired of it. Sneak through there a little bit. Get off that waist. What, since I put this new lighting in the shop, whew, can I ever see better? I gotta buy one more, and I'm gonna hang some lighting over my big miter saw over here and my lathe. But I tell you what, this old man can see a lot better. Alrighty, we got another one. As long as you're listening to that blade, he'll tell you a lot and watching that blade. He'll tell you a lot. Draw up some more. I'm gonna probably do. I really don't know how many. Whatever's left over, I'll just do it myself and sell them in my business. There ain't nothing like having a handmade ornament. That was the only way you did it back then. I can remember sewing popcorn together and making ornaments out of paper. And All 
right. Yep. We got another one. And like I said, hang on a minute, folks. Alrighty. Let's check on something there. There's a bunch of them. Like I said, right there's one carved and another one carved. And I just uh, carved this Santa Claus a few minutes ago. And it's not done. i got to spray it. But just carved him up. And I don't waste no wood. I draw real fast. And he's simple. Just whimsical. You know. Well, I just wanted to get back on here and show you a little bit of these snowmen I'm doing for the kids. Like I said, you got to pay it forward, folks. Got to show the love. So, I will talk to you guys later. Whittler Dave appreciates everybody that has gave us a like, a share, a comment, and everything else. So, I thank you again, and you all have a blessed day.